Okay. Three hearing rooms that are this size. Um, this is the one that we have government and, I mean, retirement and insurance committee in. Uh, and I think also education committee I have in here. How things work is, let's say, what we were discussing a bill the other day on the phone. And Nance and I want to run a law to change some of the laws on, on child prostitution. And so we go to Ledge Council, which is a, a, the House and Senate's uh, legal staff that write law for us. Yeah, please make yourself comfortable. They're over in the old Capitol. They have about 12 uh, different lawyers over there of, of different expertise. But their biggest expert expertise is writing things in legal language so they'll hold up in court. So we'll go over and discuss our idea with them. They'll write up a, 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 a draft. Then we'll be able to say, oh, we like it or we don't like it, or run it past other stakeholders like uh, Bill Mondell and, and the AG's office and several others, get some input, get the draft changed a little bit. Then they make an intro set. Intro set is we decide who wants to be primed, say we want to be primed together. So she's a prime sponsor and I'm a prime sponsor. And then we go around to other members. And sometimes it's easy to get a bill passed if you have lots of people, especially a controversial issue, a lot of sponsors. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Lots of times you see bills with just the chairman's name on them because they're just perfunctory. You know, they're just things that have to be done and they, you know, the regular course of running, running the state, there has to be some changes made and that sort of stuff. Others are so controversial and it's your burning issue that no one will help you. <laughs> you know, and you have to do those by yourself also. But, so we get an intro set, we get a few members to sign, we get it, we, we drop it in what we call the hopper over here, and I don't know what they call it over on your side. A hopper, but we don't have a frog. Okay, we have a frog. <laughs> but croaks. It looks like a frog. <laughs> the, the house is very similar to the Senate, but we're fun. Um, so, they, then the, the speaker assigns it to committee. Now, every bill is supposed to be heard in committee. It doesn't always <laughs> land up being the case, but most of the time since I've been here, that is the case. So let's say we get to this bill and it's going to go to the Judiciary Committee and it's in the House. It's a House-sponsored bill. It's my bill. You're my co in the Senate. Let's say that. And I shouldn't like that, but we're going to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the bill has to be signed committee. We talked to Eddie Farnsworth, who's the chairman. He says, sure, I'll hear it. And we come in the committee. Now, several things can happen to the bill. It can just pass out unchanged, you know, and we have tons of witnesses come up, for and against. I, you would be amazed at what people are against. I mean, I can understand people even for some things, but you have some things where you go, how could anybody be against this? And people are against it. You know, you're like, it's just, it, it boggles your mind and, and stuff. But then you'll have, you'll have witness testimony, and then you'll have the members vote, and we can amend it here, but amendments don't stick here. They just, they're lightly attached. There's one more process to make an amendment stick permanently, and we'll talk about that when we get up to the floor. But, so what can happen here is they get passed, passed and changed, changed and failed, or just failed. And committee is one of the few places where if you then recommit a bill that just failed and you fail it again, you've really killed it. The other one is committee of the whole over here. You fail a bill in either of those. If you fail it twice in a committee or, or once on committee of the whole, it's very difficult to resurrect those bills. You almost you have to start over. You have to find another way. Um, also, you can do strike amendments here in the in the in the committees. And so you'd say, you know, Dave has a great bill on education, but I have one about raising chickens, and <laughs> I'm going to strike his his bill on education, and with his permission, or maybe not, and, and I'm going to stick my, my, my chicken bill on there, and Eddie, who loves chickens, is going to hear it in judiciary, even though it's not an education nor a judiciary bill, because the speaker allowed it, boom, we send it out. So a lot of goes on here. This is a very important place for killing bad legislation. Uh, tons of bad legislation can be thwarted in this position, because what's said here resonates with the rest of the body. Lots of people don't get a chance to read every bill, but they will look at who voted for what in committee. So if you read your bills and you make sure that you you understand them and you speak to them uh, in, in a manner in which explains why they're good or bad, you can help or hurt a, a, a legislation a bunch right here in committee. Uh, every single bill is taped. Now you get cameras everywhere and a speaker system and they are live proceedings, you watch live proceedings any day on our website, 
but every single bill has the has the uh, testimony that it, that goes with it attached at the website. So if you use our website and you look up a bill and it will say videos, you click on that, you can watch the Judiciary Committee's testimony on that bill. And so it will have the whole agenda for that thing, but it will skip down to the one that is pertinent to that to that legislation. So you at home can actually educate yourself to what is what your member is thinking about a particular issue. Because sometimes you go, you voted for this, how could you vote for it? And, and all I've explained my vote saying, this has to have a lot of work. This is not right the way it is. I understand what the sponsor's trying to do, I'm allowed out of committee today, because it's coming to another committee I'm on tomorrow. <laughs> you know, which happens, bills do go, and you say, if that's not amended there, I'm gonna vote against it. And you go, he voted for it. You know, and, and this is horrible legislation, but if you get an opportunity to see the testimony, you go, oh, okay. And then, oh, he voted against it in the next committee, because they didn't do the things they said. 